Kyle Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing. Gregory Becker, Tucker Rocky Distributing. On this week's Wednesday with Greg, we're talking about rider and passenger etiquette when riding two up. What does the rider need to do in preparation for riding a passenger? And what does the passenger need to do while sitting behind the rider to ensure a safe and pleasurable trip? Yeah, because if you do it right, you'll probably do it more than once. If you do it wrong, you might not do it again. So before riding two up, there's really two main things you need to consider preparing your motorcycle and preparing the passenger. When it comes to preparing the motorcycle, there's two things I would really recommend you take a look at. One is your shock preload. If it's normally used to riding one up, you're usually got a pretty soft setting. So you want to make sure you crank that up using your spring tool, or if you've got a progressive 440, you can hand twist that. What that's going to do is it's going to allow your motorcycle to handle better with the extra load. The second thing, speaking of load, would be tire pressure. Make sure that your tires are filled to the maximum capacity to handle the weight of both the rider and the passenger. Also, you should need to have a conversation with your passenger about etiquette. Um, for example, I always tell my passenger, you'll get on when I tell you to get on, no surprises. And the same with getting off, mm -hmm. ride close to me, hold on, and no quick movements. Uh, my granddaughter rides with me frequently, and she knows the etiquette and we have a really nice safe ride that way. That's right, communication between you and your passenger is the key to a safe and happy ride. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things you should talk about with your passenger before you even get them on the bike. What to, uh, what to wear, uh, uh, is a helmet required in the state you're in? Or do you feel the responsibility to have a person wear it anyhow? Helmets, jackets, some sort of protective riding pants, closed-toed shoes. Lots of ladies like to wear sandals and flip-flops and things of that nature where their toes are exposed. And at the bare minimum, closed-toed shoes, pair of long pants, and a long sleeve shirt or jacket are absolutely the bare minimum that I would say you really need in order to... Yeah, and then if, the, if it's going to be a longer trip, you need to let that person know if they don't already know that uh, they're going to have to have different clothes for different uh, temperatures, climates, whatever. So one of the things I like to suggest, Greg, is that whether you're going on a short trip or a long trip, to readjust kind of how you think. Usually when you're riding your motorcycle, it's just you and you're blasting down the highway. You can go tank to tank before you stop. But you need to be considerate of the person on the back. Do they need to stop more frequently? Or does your motorcycle need to stop more frequently? Yeah, you know, if you want to continue to have this passenger travel with you, you got to keep them happy. And you might uh, have a conversation before you start the ride. Or even during the ride, you know, if you, uh, if you have some predetermined signals or if you have a communication system back and forth, then you can, can uh, talk about, okay, I got to pull over and go to the bathroom and stuff like that. Another key thing to think about is the motorcycle seat. The stock seat for most passengers is absolutely miserable. So if you plan on riding often, maybe think about upgrading that rear seat. Yeah, or adding a air hawk seat cushion to the back, something that's easy to throw on and your, custom, your passenger is really going to say thank you. In addition to the seat, a couple other items if you plan on doing two up riding often would be a passenger backrest and passenger floorboards, especially adjustable ones. That way they can choose exactly where they want their legs to be. Yeah, or if you get a different passenger, you can accommodate them too. So riding two up, here's a couple things that you can think about before putting a passenger on the back of your motorcycle. Yeah, and be responsible. Carrying the passenger is, is kind of a big deal. Uh, your, their safety and welfare is your responsibility both legally and morally. Riding solo or two up, preparation is key in having a good trip. Until next week, take care. Thanks for watching WWG.